Hey, what's up guys? This uh, update will be shot completely different like this because I figured uh, the cases and the stuff is more important than showing me. I'll start with the VHS. Oh, I got uh, the unearthing here, which is uh, um, it's a prism tape. Uh, AKA, I believe this is known as Aswing or Asing, uh, which was released by Mondo Macabro DVD, which I have. I've not watched it yet. The cover's pretty cool on this. Let me know if you guys seen this one. <coughs> And then we have uh, Dr. Gore, which is infamous bad movie. It's censored for your sanity. From what I understand, it is just a pile of crap. Uh, Cinema Snob did a review of this, and it looked hilarious. And then we have uh, Crawl Space. I have the DVD of this, but I never wanted to open it because it's slightly rare. That's Klaus Kinski. Uh, this case is cut, so if I ever want to watch it, I may just watch this VHS to leave the DVD sealed. It's a double feature with another movie, The Addict, I believe. This one it was I always wanted to see. It's called Evil Town, but Doctor Making Zombies, uh, Trans World Entertainments. Uh, there you go, Evil Town, not watched. And then we have uh, Frenchman's Farm, which is also cut, but still it is. In, it's a Magnum release. All these I got from Frankie so far. Then we have a uh, House of Death, which I have a big cut box of it. This one, though, is, a, uh, I guess it's a better print of it, the Vision version cut, according to Astrid Mutilator. So there we go. And then we have, uh, this is the second copy I got of this, but it was so cheap I couldn't pass it up. Really fun movie, Alien Space Adventure by the guy who did Class Nukem High. All fun. Pretty entertaining movie. API Studios. Then we have uh, The 13th Floor, which I've actually seen the cover as a kid, and I've always wanted to see an actual movie. So there we go. And then we have Necromonicon, Book of the Dead, which I did a review for. Nice little horror anthology, really fun. Uh, can't go wrong with this. A lot, of, a nice cast: Don Kaffa, Richard Lynch, Bruce Payne, Jeffrey Combs, David Warner. Then we have this one, which I always wanted to see as a kid. Wonder why, right? Haunting of Morella. I'm sure this will probably get a re-release on DVD because the DVD's out of print. Fun, fun. Succubus. And then we have this one, which I had a, another copy of, but mine's be even worse than this one. Moon and Scorpio. I read this once as a kid, and uh, I just love the cover art. Uh, I always thought it was going to be about a giant scorpion, but in the water when I was a kid. And there's the skeleton over there. Of course it's not. I mean, it couldn't be that good to us, right? <clears throat> then we have this one, which is actually a cut box of Silent Madness, which is a slasher from media. I think this one was actually released in 3D at the time of its release. That was what made it popular. Then we have a straight jacket, which I do believe I've seen the commercial for this one. It looks pretty wild. Cut box. And then we have uh, the infamous Crap Fest, which I love. Robot Holocaust cut box wizard video. Love the cover. Just really cool. Uh, the film is just hilarious. By Tim Kincaid. Also did Mutant Hunt. And then this one is a cut box of Are You in the House Alone, which looked like a fun little type deal. It's a good times video, so I'm not expecting that great of a print. And then, of course, we have a couple others I got myself. Uh, Amity Phil or 1992, It's About Time. Now, this one, it's from Tony Randall. I've actually seen this one as a kid, and it completely forgot about it until I just, until Extra helped me out. Yeah, Killer Clock, Old Lady, Ice Cream Truck, came all back. This one sounded awesome. This is a big a clamshell of uh, Wolf Lake with Red Striner. Looks really cool. About Vietnam vet, gang rape. Looks like a like a really cool movie. Uh, not watched it yet. I'll be happy to, though. I love those revenge flicks. Always just great stuff. And this one, again, I remember the case, and Extra got it, and I had to get it because I remembered it. Regenerated Man. This one's still sealed, actually. The uh, Metamorphous director of, I have that one too, The Alien Factor, which is uh, kind of a loose sequel to Deadly Spawn, but this one looks fun. I may not even open I may just watch it online and leave it in this package. It's a regenerated man. And let me, uh, you know, I'll get right into the Blu-rays then, because that's a small amount here. I don't get too many Blu-rays. But, uh, you know, I had the old edition of Cujo. I saw this at Walmart. And I think it was really cheap, like $7.50 or something. And my old edition comes in a Stephen King box set, so I grabbed this. I heard the picture's nice. It's a decent movie. 
Uh, it's been a while, but Cujo. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. I would say it's pretty decent. It's not the greatest. This one was one of the last Van Damme movies I needed on DVD, so I figured I'd grab it on Blu-ray. It's actually not that good, and I never cared for it, but it's absolutely hilarious. I mean, I love Lionheart. I love Bloodsport. Don't get me wrong. I love Death Warrant, uh, Hard Target. But this one was even too cheesy for me. But I, I, I still got to watch it. Fond memories of hilarity with this one. Kickboxer. Then we got uh, one of my all-time favorites. I picked up the Blu-ray because it was so cheap. Monster Squad. Awesome movie. Loved it as a kid. was in agony for years. It wasn't on DVD and the VHS is out of print. Hard to come by. I haven't watched the Blu-ray yet. have the DVD as well. And then this one I opened started watching. I have the DVD. I haven't even watched that. But I grabbed Caligula, the Imperial Edition on Blu-ray. I mean, if I'm going to watch a three and a half, like two and a half epic sleaze crazy fest with Malcolm McDowell, I'm definitely going to watch it on Blu-ray. Caligula. And then we have uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Running Man. All-time favorite of mine. I adore Arnold Schwarzenegger. I adore Running Man, Total Recall, Usual Suspects, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't mean the usual suspects, but I mean the usual Arnold movies that are awesome. Yeah, Total Recall, Terminator, stuff like that, Predator. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. And then we got another Arnold classic, The Terminator. Walked into Target. It was freaking like 10 bucks for the Blu-ray, so I grabbed it. Love The Terminator. I love this one more than the second one, just because it's more downright violent and mean. This one I heard sucked balls, but now I have the Blu-ray. Someone's knocking at my door. Uh, Blu-ray. Not seen it. Just got it. So I don't know what the hell to expect of it. I heard it's crazy, but I also hear it sucks. I don't know. And then let me get into the DVDs. We got uh, the last Toxies triple feature I needed. I picked this one up used because it was the only way to get it. It comes with Stuff, Stephanie, and the Incinerator, Scream Baby Scream, and what's that say? Fertilize the Blaspheming Bombshell? Wow. These sound like award-winning films. I mean, I've seen a couple of these Toxies triple features, but, you know, uh, I wasn't too impressed with them. I did enjoy Dead Dudes in the House quite a bit. I think someone recommended me that. Dead Dudes in the House was actually a pretty good flick. Then we have, uh, I got this super cheap. It was like two fifty. There, I, I saw it in theaters. Doomsday. It's a mix of every smorgasbord movie. I didn't pay much for it. Not the greatest movie, but maybe worth one watch or so. I just grabbed it. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Then we got this. So I didn't have this edition of Pet Cemetery. Walked into Walmart. Five bucks. I wanted this edition. I do have the old edition, but I love this movie. It's a great film. It's a Mary Lambert movie. Pet Cemetery, and then this one I heard some stuff about, so I grabbed it. Sympathy. It's supposed to be a crazy, kind of suspenseful, violent type deal. Vicious Cycle, who, uh, Wicked, is it Wicked? Cycle Films? Vicious Cycle, which released uh, Hanger, among others. And then we got this one, which is pretty cool. This is the 2D box collection of Caligula, uh, the, the unofficial sequel by Joe D'Amato. I don't know if I can show the back. Let's see. Yes, I can. There we go. Uh, this is a Region Zero Paw. It has two discs in there. It's a special edition. I heard it's pretty violent, pretty crazy. So I'm happy to have that one. Then we have uh, this one I always wanted, and it's released in UK on DVD. Uh, Redneck with Telly Savalas and Franco Nero. I love Savalas' character, Maggot and Dirty Dozen. I hear this is the closest he's like in this one, and I just wanted some crazy, sleazy Telly Savalas because Savalas is awesome. And then we have... Uh,